just on the way to Fort William. Scotland, going to see Steel Falls and Steel Gorge. It's very cold. It's about 35 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about two degrees Celsius. I flew into Edinburgh yesterday from London. I was visiting my niece Susanna in London. Got to Fort William about 5 p.m. yesterday. And it was pitch black. The sun sets around four o'clock. So don't have a lot of light. It's after eight right now and the sun's barely coming up. So got about eight hours of light per day here. But it's beautiful. And the cool thing about coming here in November is nobody else is here. There are waterfalls all over the place on this trail. Wow, is that beautiful. There is Steel Falls, I'm heading over there. I'm not going to attempt to cross this quote unquote bridge. So basically you just put your feet on that wire on the bottom and hold on to the two wires on the top and just make your way across. And if I fall in, I'm the only one out here so there's no one here to rescue me. Well that was totally nerve wracking, but I did it. This sad thing is I have to go back, but that's okay. If I did it one way, I can do it the other. But that was uh, exhilarating to say the least. I made it to the bottom of Steel Falls. It was a muddy slog to get over here for that bridge, but it's totally worth it. There we go. That is awesome. Wow, incredible. Time to go back over this again. I wish I could video it, but there's no way I'm gonna go across with only one hand. And there's no way I'm gonna set up my camera and go across and come back for it. So, sorry. Just believe me when I say, it's very exhilarating and pretty scary. Actually, that was much less scary the second time. I guess because I knew what I was in for. It was so worth it going over there to see that. Plus, that's an experience for the books. Well, this is just awe-inspiring. Look at that. Two waterfalls coming down and converging into one stream. Well, the word for this hike is spectacular. I loved it. The views were great. Steel Falls was incredible. It's not that tough of a trail. It's very rocky, so you should wear hiking boots and not flip-flops. Other than that, it's not too tough of a trail. I think pretty much anyone could do it. Not the bridge part, but the rest of it, I think everybody could do. Finnan viaduct made famous in the Harry Potter movies. This is the view out the other side, which for my money is even better. I'm actually seeing a train go over it. The viaduct is 380 meters long and 30 meters high.
This is called Neptune Staircase. It's a series of seven locks. It goes way up there. It's the biggest drop in the UK using locks. Standing on the seventh lock, there's six more down there. Kind of hard to see without a drone. Boat comes through here, through here, it's gonna take like an hour because we have to go through seven locks. It goes from the Caledonia Canal here down to Loch Linney, which is way down there. These locks are so cool. Oh, this stinks. This is Inverlochy Castle. Which I kind of want to explore, but I can't go inside. This castle was built in 1280 and it's still remarkably intact. Inverlochy Castle is overlooking the river here. Haggis I had at the tavern restaurant was so good. It was the best haggis I've had ever in Scotland. I've only had it three times, but that was the best of the three. Delicious. Highly recommend that place. Food was fantastic. Good morning. Today I am in Glencoe, Scotland. It's about a half an hour from Fort William. I want to do this Lost Valley hike. It's a really, really crappy day. Rainy and windy. Not terribly cold, but still not a good day. You can see these views. I don't know how good they're gonna be, but the weather says it's supposed to clear up, so we'll see if they're right. The parking lot's all under construction, so I had to park like half a mile away and walk down, and then the construction guys gave me a hard time, but I, they let me through, so. Maybe this isn't in the cars, but we'll see. It is pretty mystical though. Rickety Bridge. It's over this. It's a pretty strenuous trail, but incredibly beautiful. Okay, so this is amazing. This just keeps getting better. Look at this. According to all trails, it's supposed to cross the river right here. It looks mighty dangerous, so I think I'm going to bail. It's unfortunate. I mean, I need to go up there to see Lost Valley, but I'm not going to risk my life to do it. Well, I just spent the better of 45 minutes trying to find a way across that river, but it ain't happening. It's just flowing too strongly. So. I'm gonna head back. Unfortunately, I can't see the Lost Valley, but I did see a lot of cool stuff. It's pretty amazing just this part of the hike, so I'm happy. Higher up now, so we've got a really great view of these waterfalls. It's <laughs> just so spectacular. So much going on here. This is a reconstruction of a turf house. This is what they used to live in in ancient times around here. Well, that 
dinner at the Geographer was delicious. Venison stew and the salad and the beer, all excellent. Loved it. I'll definitely go back. Paid about 30 pounds for the whole meal, which isn't too terrible. I would highly recommend that place, the Geographer. Good morning. Another horrendous weather day today in Scotland. Rainy and windy and cold, but I'm going to give this hike a shot. It's the Antour hike. Standing on top of Signal Rock it was used by the the ancient clans as a meeting place. They used to have great views apparently, but now it's also all obscured by trees. Made it to Antor, which is basically just another big rock. But this one has a much better view. So little obscured by trees. More awesome waterfalls up there. Look at them all. That is spectacular. And it stopped raining. There's actually, a little bit of blue sky right there. Hallelujah. Don't know how long it'll last, but feeling lucky for now. It started raining again. This trail was a bit of a disappointment, I'd say. The view from Antor was good, but you couldn't see anything from Signal Rock. And I couldn't find Hagrid's hut. There's supposedly a Hagrid's hut here somewhere. And I looked all over for it. Went right by it according to all trails, but didn't see it. Mountains, clouds, quintessential Scotland right there. This is the trail that leads to Ben Nevis, which is the highest peak in the UK. It's not the time of year to do it. So next year I'm gonna come back and do it. I'm doing the Glen Nevis River Walk. This is the Glen Nevis River right here. And the trail is right there. I just had to come across that. And look at this, there's water everywhere. Water everywhere. Not kidding. Water everywhere. When I first started this trail, it looked like it was going to be boring, but it's been anything but. So I have to keep doing stream crossings for all these little inlets, like this right here. So it's been a challenge. Trying to figure out how to get across. Finally came to a flat part that's walkable. I don't have to climb over stuff. But this is just amazing. Beautiful hike. You know, it's a little treacherous. I hope I can get back. That's my biggest concern. had to go across this. So I had to push the barbed wire away with one hand and hold onto the fence with the other hand while trying not to fall in. Fortunately I made it, but I almost did fall in once.
Probably the muddiest trail I've ever been on. Just mud everywhere. Fun, 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 playing in the mud. On the waterfall. You have another waterfall right here on the side of the road. So that was supposed to be a loop trail, but it started pouring rain, so I came back via the road, which was a lot faster. It took me a little over an hour, which wasn't too bad, but it was pouring rain, so I got stuck in that. But what are you gonna do with Scotland? But the, I thought the trip out there was great. The, the path along the river, I, you know, the trail was advertised as a river walk, and it was not a river walk. It was crossing streams dozens of times and climbing up mud and it was awesome i loved it and the views were spectacular the whole way so definitely recommend it but definitely wear waterproof boots for sure bit of a rainbow right there got the sun out finally but it's still raining Good morning. I left the Highlands and I'm now in Edinburgh. My flight is this afternoon, so I'm gonna spend a few hours in Edinburgh looking around. I'm looking at my favorite part of Edinburgh right now, and here it is. That is Edinburgh Castle. It's so beautiful. Built right out of the mountain there. I just love it. I love this steeple. This is no longer a church though, as you can see, now it's a shop. I didn't even know that big rock was there. It's similar to the one they built the castle on. The guy at the information place recommended this place for real ales and good lunch, so let's see if he's right. Well that did not disappoint. Very good burger, very good plant. Here. This is Holyrood House. This is where the royal family stays when they're in Scotland. It's at the opposite end of the Royal Mile from the from Edinburgh Castle. That's the gate to Holyrood House. I'm pretty sure it's taller than my actual house. structures anywhere. It'd be better if the carnival rides weren't there, but still, I love it. Just had a good pint right there. 